Without a doubt, the U.S. should have never gotten involved in the war in Vietnam. First off, the war results in thousands of deaths. We're gonna have we're gonna have so many people dying, and we're gonna be responsible for it. And also, source B, it says that um, we're gonna be in debt. It costs one. 101 million billion not million but billions of dollars so we're gonna have an increase of american debt so that that really puts a lot of pressure on americans i get what you're saying but communism communism is gonna spread anyway so it's eventually gonna spread to the u.s and i rather like i rather pay billions of dollars than communism spread to the u.s i disagree with you because because vietnam is not like a direct threat to us so like it won't come like right away so then that's why we have to come in and come in and take care of it now I have a different opinion uh, in the source a it also says that the United States needed to maintain the position as a world power and it's and as the growing influence of communism is threatening us so we need to stop it now before it gets to us so we don't have to worry about the problem now. I understand what you're saying, but the conflicts in Vietnam throw no, in Vietnam pose no direct threat to the U.S. government. That's what Source B says. I'd like to differ. Since, since our Declaration of Independence was created, the, U, the U.S. has supported natural rights. All these, the natural rights of the people in Vietnam were infringed. And if we didn't stop it now, who knows what could have happened to those people? I agree with what Kevin said because communism basically strips all your rights and President Truman said it himself that communists have controlled press and radio, they have fixed elections, and that's not what we believe in. I see what you're saying, but if we invade Vietnam, due to the nature of the war, there's potential for mass death of civilians. And if we're killing these people, we're taking away more than their rights, we're taking away their lives. I have something to add too. Say we do go in and help uh, Vietnam. After we like the U.S. retreats, how are they going to defend themselves if North Vietnam is way stronger than the South? To add on to what David's saying, we can't stay in there forever. I understand what you're saying, but we can't lose our position as a world power. Regardless of how many times we have to help other countries or not help other countries, we're still going to remain as a world power. I agree with what Azamalda said, because look, if...